सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम जस्ट गॉन डिस्कस अबाउट कॉन्फी यू आई एंड डेफिनेटली दिस यू आई इज अ नोट बेस्ड यू आई लेट मी टेल यू गाइज दिस इज जस्ट एन अनदर स्टेबल डिफ्यूजन दैट यू कैन गो अराउंड बट दिस यू आई इज बेस्ड ऑन नोट सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम जस्ट गॉन कवर बेसिक थिंग्स अबाउट कॉन्फी यू आई जस्ट लाइक हाउ टू इंस्टॉल इट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मॉडल्स एंड लॉराज एंड ऑल दैस थिंग आई एम जस्ट गॉन कवर बेसिक थिंग्स अबाउट इन दिस वीडियो एंड वन मोर थिंग दैट आई एम गॉन डू इज दैट आई एम जस्ट गॉन कंपेयर it with stable diffusion automatic 1111 web ui as well so that you can easily get idea on how it is working so that's the thing that i'm going to do in this video today and yes just a basic thing so let's get started with the installation first guys so guys in order to install confi ui it's very easy first of all go to this link the link will be already in the description you can click the link come down over here it's very easy and if you come down over here on installation section you will see a direct link to download so if you click on to this link it will download a rar file just like i have already download this so basically you can use it on nvidia graphic card as well and on cpu as well so it will download this rar file the next thing you need to do is that if you don't have winrar then yes you can download it from internet as well get a winrar and you need to extract it so the next thing you need to do is extract it just open it just click on to open and after this window just click on to extract and extract it wherever you want first of all so basically i have extracted in my Stable Diffusion Web UI folder only. In D, as you can see, I have already created AI in which I have already extracted. This is a Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 Web UI, and this is Confi UI. So that's the only thing that you need to do, and just press OK. So it will extract these files on that folder. Okay. So guys, I have already extracted this on my folder. Let me show you once again. And right now, I am on this folder. You can see D Drive and AI folder where I have already extracted it. It's so simple. Just go on to this and just click on to this. as well so there are basically two files run on cpu.bat and run on nvidia gpu.bat so you can choose either which whichever you want you can go i'm just going with nvidia gpu as well so that's how you first of all extract it and it's very easy so now the next thing and the very important thing is pasting your model folder such as you can use any model just train model or stable diffusion 1.5 or any model so basically it's just a simple you can go on to this folder you can see confi ui folder and in confi ui folder you can definitely see models going on over here similar to what we saw on stable diffusion as well so if you click on to models you will definitely see lots of things going on so i have already pasted couple of the things over here let me show you the checkpoints is the model folder here you can see on checkpoint folder i have already pasted some of my model just like art and arrows dreamlike diffusion illuminati so for safe side i have already pasted yaml file as well and if you go back over here you can definitely see clip and yes in control net also i have already pasted some of the control net model as well control net canny model control net depth model and then on loras as well i have already pasted my noise offset lora over here yes on t2i adapter as well let me show you here you can see guys i have already pasted couple of the adapter just like style adapter and yes yaml file as well for safe side so basically that's the only thing that you need to do you just need to paste on this specific folder and the next Next thing that you need to do is just come on. Let's just run. Let's get back over here. I am already on this, so you can run on CPU as well and GPU as well. So we will try to run on GPU. Let's click on this, and the best thing is that it will directly load onto your Chrome. As you can see, it has already loaded automatically on your Chrome. So this is the basic UI that you will use. One more thing that I notice on Confi UI is that it will load your previous session. As you can see, I was using Dreamlike Diffusion. This was the prompt that I was using. on previous session so basically it loads your previous session so that you don't need to worry about creating new again and again and again and let me tell you guys olivio has literally explained this very well and a detailed video as well so you can go and check out that video as well if you want to learn in detail so now let's get started first of all as you can see let me show you this is a confi ui and yes stable diffusion ui as well so basically i will compare it with stable diffusion so you can get a basic idea about this first thing you can see over here let me zoom out you can zoom out over here so the first thing you can see checkpoint loader that's where you can load checkpoint as you can see i have already added art and arrows and some models over here so this is a checkpoint loader similar to where in stable diffusion we select checkpoints so that's the basic thing like selecting different different checkpoint so that's the first thing the next thing and the very important thing is this is not the lora this is i have added so when you start in the beginning you won't find lora loader over here so this is i have added and it has loaded the previous session the next and the very important thing is 
is these two boxes as you can see clip text encode clip text encode so it is connected to the clip over here you can definitely see the clip from the checkpoint is basically connected to these two boxes you can see clip over here and clip over here so basically these are the positive prompt and negative prompt as you can see on this this was the prompt that i was using and this is going to the positive prompt and from this clip text and code you can definitely see it is going to the negative prompt it is similar to this we were using on stable diffusion automatic 1111 this was the positive prompt and this was the negative prompt so basically it is it positive prompt and negative prompt and the next thing if you come down over here you can zoom in and zoom out with the scroller of the mouse as well and the next thing is empty latent image so what is this as you can see width and height and batch size only three options and you can also see it on stable diffusion width of the image height of the image and the batch size so the more you go the more image you will generate from the batch size as well and this is connected to this case sampler so that's the thing these are connected first of all let me tell you checkpoint loader is connected to positive prompt and negative prompt this is a negative prompt and this is the width and height of the image these three positive prompt negative prompt and the empty layer latent image is connected to k sampler and now what is k sampler let me show you let's zoom in you can see over here seeds going on steps of the images cfg scale guidance scale sampler name scheduler and denoising strength so basically if you see this on stable diffusion you will definitely see it over here as well see this seed going on cfg scale and sampling method as well sampling steps as well so basically this is the thing that it is going on cfg scale going on 8 steps 40 i have already used steps 40 you can check out over here as well these are sampler methods all our all our ancestor and so many going on over here you can find the new samplers over here as well uni pc and uni pc bh2 as well so basically these are the samplers that you can set and scheduler as well so there are right now four scheduler ddim uniform simple normal and keras so yeah you can choose anyone if you want and that's how this is k sampler working on that's the only thing that you need to know first of all so the next thing is vae decode so basically this is i think so compulsory for now so now where to connect it let me show you there is a vae going on over here on checkpoint loader so first that you need to do is connect it let's go on to connect it that's the first thing that you need to do you need to connect vae from over here and the next thing is that just click latent over here and paste it like connect it not paste it and the next thing is you need to connect this image to the final render window i don't know what to call it because i have never used node ui first of all this is the first time i'm trying so that's the final image output over here so guys these are the basic thing that you will find if you launch this web ui config ui in the beginning and the lora adder the lora loader this is what i have added extra you can add many many things and you can do many many things so basically we are not concentrating on that we are concentrating on only basic so what i did over here i added lora loader first of all i went on to add node you will find it on loaders okay lora loaders you can add different different loaders as well so basically i have added lora loaders and i have connected it to model you can definitely see models over here clip and then lora loader i have connected it to k sampler as well so basically it will use epic noise offset lora as well now what we will do we will try to generate the image in order to generate the image you just need to click q prompt so let's click it and let's see what result do we get so this is the result that i got i was using let me show you i was using dreamlike diffusion model this was the prompt positive prompt that i was using this was the negative prompt width height 512 by 768 batch size 1 and yes definitely steps 40 cfg scale 8 all our ancestral sampler going on keras and denoising 1.00 so that's the only thing that I was using and this is the result that I got and in order to check this image you just need to go on to let me show you where you need to find this image just go on to config UI over here you can definitely see output folder so you will find the output images I was trying this much images and yes this was the result that I got I'm not considering there is a deform page going on over here so we are not considering on the result so that's how basically you use this and let me tell you guys there is a lot and lot and there are more ways that you can use this first of all this is just a simple and a basic thing that i was explaining and if you see this examples definitely they have already given the example as well i will paste this link in the description as well and you can check out it as well so there are some examples going on 
so i will definitely go on deep you can definitely see these are some of the example you can go on through this and generate something like this and there are lots and lots of example going on so basically it's a very vast and if you know how to use node ui there are a lot of things going on image to image section as well so you can see they have already given some of the example but this was just a basic video that i wanted to make about comfy ui and yes it's pretty interesting so you can go on to these examples as well if you want and i will definitely make a video on each of this as well and yes i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then guys have a good day bye guys love you all guys and yes i will just go on to deep into each of the topic as well so that's it for today guys i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys bye guys